I'd like to dedicate this to my my friend uh, Amy McCarley. She's a local uh, singer-songwriter. You ought to go see sometimes. She she got me in touch with Jim, actually. And that's the only reason I, I'm down here. And uh, her dad made her listen to the song when she was young. Three thirty in the morning, not a soul in sight. The city's looking like a ghost town on a moonless summer night. The raindrops on the windshield, there's a storm moving in. He's headed back from someplace he never should have been, and the thunder rolls. Every light is burning in a house across town. She's pacing by the telephone in her faded flannel gown, asking for a miracle, hoping she's not right, praying it's the weather that kept him out all night and the thunder roll. Sleepless night, the storm blows on out of control. Deep in her heart, the thunder rolls. She's waiting at the window, and he pulls into the drive. She runs out to hold him. Thankful he's alive, but on the wind and rain, a strange new perfume blows. Lightning flashes in her eyes, and he knows that she knows. And the thunder rolls. And the thunder rolls. The thunder. The thunder roll. When Garth Brooks and I wrote that song, uh, he didn't have a record deal, and that's where the song ended. And we got pretty excited when we wrote it. We thought it was really good, and uh, so we pitched it to uh, Tariba McIntyre. She really liked it. Then we pitched it to Tanya Tucker, and she really, really liked it. She was making a greatest hits album and looking for one more song on that album. So she called, put it on hold. We thought, incredible. She'll sell a million copies. I know she will. And Garth had never had a song recorded before, so he was really excited. But the next day, our producer called back. His name was Jerry Crutchfield. A really great producer, but a real character. He had kind of a raspy voice, kind of talked like this. He said, Pat, it's Jerry. You know, Tanya and I really love this song. We really do. But we don't think it's finished. I said, really? What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? And he said, well, Daddy and I think somebody ought to die. <laughs> Any particular way? 
So I had to call Garth up. I guess this was a phone call you hate to make. I said, Garth, look, got some good news. Tanya and Jerry still love our song. Bad news is we got to kill somebody. <laughs> so, so God came, rushed over, and we sat there, and we we killed them off a couple of different ways, and this was the one we ended up with, and this was the basis for the video that got the song banned on country music television, <laughs> which made me about one hundred fifty thousand dollars more, because when something gets banned. They just can't get enough of it. <laughs> she runs back down the hallway Through the bedroom door She reaches for the pistol In the dresser drawer She tells the lady in the mirror He won't do this again This'll be the last night I wonder where he's been and the thunder rolls And the thunder rolls And the thunder rolls Gentlemen, don't let this happen to you. Pat Alger. Thanks very much. It's Chris been a real Hall. pleasure to play Thank for you. Thank you guys so much. Real pleasure. Oh, sure. Aaron Barker. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.